The objects discussed in this video are fortunately very far from Earth. Otherwise, all the things we are used to seeing around us would never exist. Why? Very simple. This space monster would simply eat or burn out everything within a radius of millions of kilometers. Before you name the mysterious object, look at the photo. On the photo, it is placed in the company of other celestial bodies and looks almost indistinguishable from them, although it is immeasurably farther away. We reveal the intrigue. Today we discuss the amazing, little studied and sometimes frankly frightening quasars. These objects are shown next door to others for a reason. Long after their discovery, observers did not distinguish quasars from ordinary stars. Since then, many years have passed. So the logical question is, what do we now know about quasi-stellar radio sources? Immediately dispel a common myth. Not all quasars emit in the radio band, so the second part of the established name incorrect. So back to the cosmic distances, the name of the first quasar discovered by astronomers, 3C48. The discovery occurred when Alan Sandage and Thomas Matthews conducted a radio survey of a certain part of the sky. It was then that they saw a strange object. In 1963, five such points were found. By now, there are thousands of them. The most distant from us quasar, Eulis J1201-48-641-24.3, is at the edge of the visible universe at a distance of 13 billion light years, and the nearest, ZS273, is distant by 2 billion SV years. What are these objects amazing? They have a lot of features inexplicable from the point of view of orthodox science unexplained nature. To begin with, it is necessary to find out. What can it be? How and where were born monsters whose light we now observe? There is no reliable answer to these questions yet. Only guesses and hypotheses. For example, some astronomers are sure that quasars, nothing more than an active galactic nucleus, in the center of which is a supermassive black hole, Moreover, it is believed that in telescopes we see the agonizing but relatively brief moment of the birth of galaxies, which is why the limited location emits such a piercing light. There is another original version. Quasars are superstars, intensely burning their own hydrogen, so the process is accompanied by global emissions of energy and light. But in this hypothesis, is not all smooth. Such an object, if it existed, should weigh as much as a billion suns, which is in principle impossible. So massive body is not able to stay in a stable equilibrium for a long time. Therefore, scientists continue to be lost in speculation, and the source of inexhaustible energy quasars have not yet been found. Speaking of the source, what feeds the intragalactic monsters? After much debate, astrophysicists have come to the conclusion that the thermonuclear nature, as in ordinary stars, completely excluded, because the colossal energy emissions and unrealistic luminosity, in this case, is unattainable. Most likely, quasars are fed by the energy of the gravitational field, that is, all the same, supermassive black holes, unreal luminosity. Quasars are not called beacons of the universe for nothing. This is primarily evidenced by the fact that no matter how far away they are, these objects are clearly visible in ordinary telescopes. Let me give you a small analogy. If you bring a flashlight to your face, it will subjectively seem brighter than the sun, and putting the flashlight and a star in a row the luminescence of the latter will be immeasurably more powerful. This simple example allows us to understand the meaning of the concept of absolute stellar magnitude. This indicator in the Sun is only 4.8, while one of the first found quasars, 26.7,
That's four trillion times brighter than our star. And the most dazzling object ever observed has a simply prohibitive absolute value of 31.4. If we talk about the amount of energy released for the same unit of time by the Sun and the quasi-stellar object, the difference is 10 trillion times. The radiation of Quasus can be many times greater than the luminosity of all the stars in the galaxy combined, and there are millions of them. If such an object was in relative proximity to us, say, in 30 light years, it would shine on a par with the Sun. It has been found that the energy of one quasar would be enough for the Earth for several billion years. Among other things, attention deserves attention. Monstrous jets, quasars, emissions of energy. Jets of which spread to a distance of millions of light years. All this, according to astronomers, the work of black holes, rapidly and greedily devouring matter, falling into their insatiable funnels. Heating in such areas reaches billions of Kelvin, and this hell is extremely difficult to imagine. Super escape velocity. How to determine the distance to the quasar? To do this, to help call the notorious Doppler effect. With its use, it is possible to find out the degree of redshift coming from the universe monsters. And as a result, it turns out that all of them are rapidly moving away from us at breakneck speeds. For example, Quasar 3C196 is carried away at an incredible rate, 200,000 kilometer SS. And this is two thirds of the speed of light. For comparison, the maximum speed of galaxies is only tens of thousands of kilometers variable nature. The most inexplicable fact is the variable luminosity of quasars. The fact is that this indicator varies not only throughout the year, but sometimes even up to 25 times per hour. What causes such frequent fluctuations? An absolute mystery. But based on this phenomenon, we can conclude about the size of quasars. It becomes obvious that they cannot be too large, because then the fluctuations in luminosity would come to us not simultaneously and stepwise. So, we are dealing with relatively compact objects, which at the same time overshadow their light the whole galaxies. Listed mysteries are not the first decade occupy the minds of scientists, but one thing is relatively certain, if we were right now teleported to the place where the quasar is supposedly located, we would remain completely unharmed. Why? Because the monster should have instantly incinerated us. But most likely, the alien astronaut is waiting for disappointment. This location is probably long ago empty, because the light emitted by the quasar traveled to us much longer than the lifetime of the object. Quasi-stellar monsters are the spawn of the early universe, so many of them have already faded away. How things really are, it is not known, but as long as people see the blinding light of quasars, the journey into the past does not stop for a minute, because we study the oldest objects of the macrocosm, look into the past epochs together with the channel Habble, in the meantime, do not forget to click on the coveted favorite. And also, on the Kopka subscribe with a bell so as not to miss the notification of new stories. Ahead of us awaits so much interesting.